again, thanks for watching. This is another Quick Tips video from Go Engineer. My name is Joseph Catrona. Today we're talking about a common question that comes up when bringing your SolidWorks files into SolidWorks PDM. So a great example are these files under Project 13C here. I have CAD files and clearly they have revision values assigned. If I pick one and look at the data card, it also tells that same story that the revision for this file is D. However, I know that I just brought that legacy data in and the history for that file is very minimal. Those are the three standard entries I would expect to see just on copying the data in for the first time. Created, checked in with a comment, and the automatic state change to that initial workflow status. However, the custom property in that file was previously assigned and on its drawing there is a custom property assigned and if we preview that file we will see that on its title block there is also a revision value assigned. So the question is how to resolve that discrepancy and this is where the set revision command comes in so handy. Under the modify drop down we're going to find the option to set revision. If that command is grayed out for you currently there's a couple of possible reasons. One, that the file is not checked in. We actually want the file checked in for this operation. Another is that you just don't have permission and yet another is that whatever state that file is in, for example this file I can see is in an under editing status, that status needs to have its revision criteria set. So opening up that state in the administration tool to see that it has a revision number assigned and that number is connected to the data card variable. So these are a couple of important things and if you're not familiar with this back end or don't have the administrator password, give us a call, contact your administrator, we can certainly get these things worked through. So back to the files. The revision value has a discrepancy. My card, my properties know what the value is, but the vault doesn't yet know. The modify set revision command can be used on an entire folder as well. So because I know this entire project was recently imported, I'll select the project and then initiate the modify set revision command. Now this new revision that I want to set to has a drop down value, but that would make things tough for me. What I really want to do is use the background options, right click in the blank space and set all new revision two values on data card. So we can see the yellow highlight, the new revision syncs up with what's on the data card. I do not need to update the variable in this case. The variable already has that information from its data card. And say okay to complete the legacy data migration for that file set. Now if I open and review any one of those files, visit the history, I can see that now the revision is correctly stamped for each one of those files. One last point that's worth making is that these files are still in the under editing state. I just need to skip these on to the approved status without review and without updating the revision again. So an example of how to do that is this no approval required status and it's very common that only an admin would have visibility to that. but. The difference being that it is not, in our case, going to update any revision values. Those values are already set the way they should be, so we can safely move things on no approval required. Thanks for checking out our videos. Be sure to view our Go Engineer KB at kb.goengineer. Do a quick search for whatever information you might be looking for and if you don't see a video there that you are looking for please do leave us a comment here on YouTube and or reach out to us directly at support at goengineer.com.